First, it is important for us to understand reading from Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Now, I think the first thing for us to understand in as much as we want to discover our own purpose is to know that God Himself has a purpose. It is His purpose that has called us into Himself, which tells us that God has redeemed you and I according to His purpose. So it is an aberration for me as a Christian to be in God and I am looking for my purpose away from God's purpose. The first thing for me to know is what is God's purpose and then how can I fit into that purpose of God. Now let's look at verse 29. It reads, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son. To be conformed to the image of his Son. Now, this is the clear purpose of God for everyone that it has pleased him to bring or to call to himself. He wants us to be conformed to the image of his Son, that Christ might be the firstborn among many brethren we can be in christ and we are looking for our own purpose away from god's purpose the first thing for you to get cleared on is that the purpose of god for calling me the purpose of god for saving me is that i will be conformed to the image of his son jesus so are you on a journey of discovering christ are you on a journey of growing into christ in all things Ephesians 4.13 tells us, See, we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, first to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive now you see the reason why god has saved us this purpose is that we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of his son jesus unto a perfect man the call is for us to grow into maturity in christ so i cannot be looking for my purpose in god when i have not set my heart on becoming mature in christ it's important for us um, to first of all prepare our mind to grow into Christ likeness into becoming like Jesus as the Lord helps us to grow into maturity in Christ we can now also help others within the field where we are working whether as a doctor whether as an engineer whether as a teacher whether as a pastor that field where you are where you have a natural ability in you can stay there and also begin to help others to grow into maturity in christ this is the purpose of god for everyone who he has he has saved in christ jesus it is not about i'm looking for my purpose and i'm asking god should i be a doctor of course yes i can ask god that when if I'm asking God, will this contest help me to fulfill this your purpose in making disciples for Christ, in raising people who will be growing into maturity in Christ Jesus, who will prioritize becoming like Jesus as the purpose of their lives. Now that's where we can begin to ask God, should I be a teacher? Should I be a doctor? Should I be, you know, whatever profession or vocation you might want to go into. But the purpose of God that we all be conformed to the image of his son Jesus growing into Christ in godliness in his character the fruit of the spirit becoming more and more like Jesus this is the purpose of God for you and I as Christians beyond your cage of sin the bondage and compulsion in your life is a glorious world called the kingdom of God. And it is no fantasy. It's the real world you have never known. A world of sins forgiven, peace with God, and eternal life. The condition? Repent of your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That will be the moment your prison door opens and you are released 
saved, set free. Welcome to the kingdom of God. <laughs>